JavaScript has first-class functions. This means functions can be treated like other values, which turns out to be incredibly important behavior to understand as you grow as a JavaScript developer. The following three items represent important behavior uh, to understand about first-class functions. First, functions can be assigned to variables. Next, functions can be passed as arguments to other functions. Finally, functions can be returned from other functions. Let's go through each of these bullet points and try to understand uh, how these can be used in some pretty basic examples. First, let's assign functions to variables. We can say const say hello equals an arrow function that simply returns the text string hello. And just to show this working, we can say console log say hello and call the function. And if we run this in our console, sure enough, we see that hello is output. So what we're doing here is we've created an anonymous function and we are assigning it to our variable say hello. So this is pretty cool, but uh, potentially something you already knew. So now let's go on to kind of some more interesting cases. Next, we'll talk about passing functions as arguments to other functions. Let's say we want a new function that can say hello to a particular person. Let's create a function called say hello to person. In this function, we are going to take a greeter function as an argument, as well as a person string. What we're going to do here is just return our greeter function actually called, and then we'll put a space and then add our person string. Let's see this in action. We can console log, say hello to person. We can pass our say hello variable that refers to this function as the first parameter. And then we can pass Jack, the string, as a second parameter. We run this in our console and we say, hello, Jack. So this is interesting and kind of powerful. We are now passing the reference to a function to this say hello to person function. And then we can call that function within this other function. Pretty cool. Let's go on to our final example. Uh, functions can be returned from other functions. So perhaps we have our say hello to person function, but we're not quite happy with that because we want to be flexible. We want to be able to say hi to a person or we want to be able to say howdy to a person. Now what we're going to do is create a greeter maker. So we can say const greeter maker and we will take a greeting string as an argument and we will return a new arrow function. So this is where we are basically returning a function from a function. We can return greeting plus a space plus person. So this might seem a little confusing, but we can see it in action. We can say const say hi to person equals greeter maker. And we can pass hi. So what's going to happen is we pass hi to our greeter maker and we get a function back that only needs a person and it's going to know that we just want to say hi to that person. Let's see this in action. Say hi to person and we are going to say hi to Jane. And of course we should console log this. And if we run that, sure enough we say hi to Jane. So where this is pretty powerful is we can say, well, also we want to be able to say howdy to someone. So we can create, we can uh, create a new greeting function by using our greeter maker and say howdy. And again, let's see this in action. Say howdy to person. And we are going to say howdy to Bob. We can now run our code and sure enough, we have created a new greeting function called say howdy to person, and that is now saying howdy to people.